well. Today I'm going to show you this makeup look that I have on right now. This is probably one of my most requested looks ever here on my channel. You guys absolutely loved it, it seemed like. It was crazy. So I had this one on in a haul that I did a couple of videos ago and you guys absolutely loved it. So I thought it would probably be cool to do a look with it because I love this look. I think it's so pretty because it's very colorful but it's still, it, it looks really cool and not like too much I feel I don't feel like I have a ton of color on my and my eyes and stuff I just feel like it looks really pretty but still it has a lot of color which I love experimenting with, with colors I think it's so much fun and I, I don't know I just really like it so using colors can be very scary and especially I used two seconds I used the electric palette from Urban Decay, which is really bright colors. You guys have probably all seen it because it's a very popular palette, but a lot of people are really scared to use it, and I was definitely very scared to use it when I saw it. I used the pink one, these two, and the silver one. So you can actually use four of the colors in the palette to create this look. So I hope you guys are excited to see how I got this look. I absolutely love it, so I hope you guys like it too. I think we can just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I like to start out with is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray, which is a primer spray. I like this one a lot, so I use that before pretty much every foundation that I use. The foundation that I'm using today is True Match from L'Oreal. As you can see, the color is pretty yellow, but it does match me really, really well when it's all blended in, and it's one of my all-time favorite foundations ever. I absolutely love the consistency. I love the finish that it gives on my skin. I just... I love it. It's my favorite one. The color that I use is W2 Golden Vanilla and it matches really, really well. Then it is time to use some concealer. I use my absolute favorite concealer ever. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I use two different shades. I use the color 20 on my face. On blemishes and redness and also on the inner corner of my eye on the blue parts that I have and then I use the color 15 which is a little bit lighter a little bit more pink I use that as a highlight down my nose underneath my eyes on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my forehead and then I like to blend everything in with my beauty blender so it honestly all of these products melt into the skin in the most amazing way and I love that concealer it's my holy grail one And then I set my whole face with the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which is e.l.f.'s version of a HD powder. This is the first time that I tried it, so, so far it was really good. I just used the puff that I came with, and it mattified my skin really well, and I really liked it. So, so far that was a good powder, but I will keep you guys updated. Then I went in with the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, and I used the yellow shade in the middle, which I have <laughs> almost used up, and I just set my concealer with it using the same beauty blender as I used. I used this one to set all of the places that I highlighted it with. After I powdered my face, I like to go directly onto my eyes uh, and I start with the MAC Pro Longer Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre to prime my lids, making my eyeshadow last longer, make it more pigmented and all of those things. And it's this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I love it. Then I start with the eyeshadow. So I use the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which has absolutely amazing eyeshadow. It's actually pressed pigments. I love that palette. So the first shade that I go in with is the bright pink one at the top. I love it. I use a brush from Pick. I will link it down below. I love it. I just use it directly in my crease. As you can see, I just basically just apply it strictly right into my crease. Then I go in with a blending brush. This is Sigma. E25 brush and just blend it out. Then I went in with the uh, more purpley pink, more fuchsia color with the same brush, applying it directly over more precise in the crease. The other one I, I used not as precise, so I just used that one a little bit more precise in the crease. Then I used the same blending brush to blend everything out again. Then I went in with the purple shade, and this one is a little bit darker than the other one, so using these three shades you will get a lot more depth to your eye because you use three different tones of like a pink purple color and it would just it would just look a lot better so using that color right in my crease then I just wet my brush with some my fix plus and use the silver color and that silver color is the best silver I've ever used in my life 
it's so pigmented it's crazy so I just uh, pat that on my lids using a MAC brush I can't I can't remember what it's called but it's really good and then I just uh, highlight my brow bone using the two lighter color in the Kat D palette I love that for a more natural highlight look then I went in with a eyeliner I used a swing liner from the balm I love that name this eyeliner is one of my new favorites because it is matte and it's extremely black and extremely easy to use so that's why I've been loving that lately Then I just curl my lashes with the Beater Eyelash Curler. It's okay, it's not the best, but then I went in with the mascara that I love lately. It's the Miss Manga from L'Oreal. It's a great mascara. I've been loving it for a couple of years now. I love it. But honestly, it doesn't really matter which mascara you use because you are going to use on falses. Just if you want to, I definitely love using falses for this look. So I use Pixel Lux from House of Lashes. These are really girly and flirty. So. They're really different than, say, the Iconic Lashes. They are more, like, flirty. And then I just use the pink one in the eyeshadow palette underneath my eyes and also apply a little bit of the purple one just on top of it. More close to my lash line. Then I just use the mascara underneath my eyes as well. Then I go in with the Kat Von D Shane Lay Contour Palette. You guys know I use the heck out of this contour kit. It's my favorite. My favorite way to contour my face is using the color in the middle, the shadow play color, using a uh, duo fiber brush. It honestly makes your contour look stunning and amazing. So for a more bronzy look, I'm using Betty Luminizer from The Balm. I love that one. It gives my skin the most amazing summer glow. So I just apply that on the places of my face where I want to look more bronzy. As you can see, my skin looks a lot more bronzy now than it used to. Then I used the Mary Luminizer, which is one of my favorite highlights. So I used that one on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and also on my cupid's bow, and also on the tip of my nose. And then I also used a little bit of that color right in the inner corners. For a look like this, you don't really want a really strong blush because your eyes are the intention of the look. So for the blush, I'm using Hourglass Dim Infusion, which is a very, very soft peach color. Almost does not show up on my skin, but with a synthetic brush, it will show up. Then it is time to do the lips. I use the Urban Decay Naked Lip Liner, which I don't know why mine is so dark, but I've seen this uh, on other people. It looks a lot lighter, so I don't know if this is like the old version, but I use the Naked Lip Liner. And for liquid lipstick, I'm using the Lime Crime Velveteen in the color Cashmere. I used a little bit of lip balm before I applied it so it did not go on dry because this can be a little bit dry so I just used a little bit of lip balm before I applied it. Then I just used a little bit of the Mary Luminizer on my cupid's bow. So that was it for the video guys, I hope you liked it and if you did you can give the like button a thumbs up and you can also uh, subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what you think of the look. Is this something that you could do? Uh, do you have the electric palette? What do you think about the look? Etc. Etc. So I hope you have a really great day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!